This is the 5-Minute Youth Devotional Reading with Alex Sarria. July 21st, to be or to use. Hebrews 10.24 says, Let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works. One of the books that most impacted me in my adolescence was To Have or To Be by Eric Frum. I lived like many others searching for my own identity and his book allowed me to understand that the most important thing does not lie in material matters, but in who I am as a person. The society in which Frum lived gave a lot of importance to having a good house, spectacular car, an academic degree, a well-paid job, but that was not the worldview that he presented, neither did Jesus. Thus, I was able to learn that I am not what I own, thank God. We are so much more than what we possess. Our current society has gone a little further and the verb to use is currently trendy. You may have noticed that more and more people do not buy books, but download them. They use them and then delete them. They watch movies online on their smart TVs. They establish temporary relationships and friendship or intimacy out of interest. To use is sadly a verb closely related to discard doesn't matter very much that we throw things away even if we should make this world more sustainable but it's very serious to throw people away think about the families and how easily they disintegrate marriages are weaker than ever because supposedly love died quote unquote those who use this phrase should perhaps reflect on whether it's more accurate to say This relationship no longer serves my purposes. The same thing happens with parent-child bonds, which are increasingly dependent on mismatched personal interest. More than a personal relationship, they usually respond to transactions between demanding users. Today and always, we must remind our friends, acquaintances, that Jesus' message has to do with being that we are to own less and use less in order to love more and help more it's not just a matter of spirituality as eric Fromm said living correctly is no longer an ethical or religious demand for the first time in history the physical survival of the human species depends on a radical change of the human heart Or as Paul said, let us think of ways to motivate one another, of acts of love and good works. Being considerate of others is a challenge presented to us in a world that needs human beings. Who knows if our mission among other things is to tell my neighbor, regardless of anything, that I take them into account, that I care, that God also takes them into account and that he cares for them more than they know. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this was helpful for you, please share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Always remember this, walking with God is the greatest thing you could ever do. You are his priority. Make him yours, and you will always live out your purpose. God bless.